Since 1967, Stroud Water Research Center has conducted groundbreaking research on freshwater systems. We take a multidisciplinary approach to pursue new knowledge of freshwater science in topics ranging from fish and microbes to chemistry and hydrology. The role of the uh, research scientist or the lead investigator on a project is incredibly important to set the questions. One of the interesting things about working with insects in streams is how we've now developed tools for monitoring those streams, for assessing the health of those streams based on the presence or in many cases, it's actually the conspicuous absence of species in a stream. And that absence tells me that they're being stressed. And the question is, what are those stressors? And what can we do about reducing those stressors? Acquiring data at very high resolution is a mandate. We presently do not have data sets of high enough resolution to adequately test the theory and models we already have. We need to put the scientific instrumentation out in the field, have in situ sensors that are basically serving as our eyes and ears, observing what's going on minute by minute. The focus of my research is on the physical form and processes in rivers and streams. So things like the flow of water, uh, the movement of sediment particles, the erosion of banks, and how all of those processes are influenced by the watershed and the characteristics in the watershed. There are feedbacks between what's going on in the land surface, in the river, and then integrating with living features of a stream and river. What I'm doing specifically is looking for rare and endangered freshwater mussels. So rather than having to go out and do a survey of an entire stream to look for maybe one or two mussels, if we can collect some of their DNA from the water, then we can detect their presence. The benefit of this technology is it can be used not just for mussels, it can be used for anything. And if we can just take a water sample, look at the DNA, we could actually tell whether that stream is healthy or unhealthy just based on what species we can find. So my research focus in, the, in my laboratory is focusing on studying how the microorganisms distribute and function in this natural ecosystem. They can decompose all the organic matter you bring into the stream. So that brings a very important question for the microbes and how they decompose those. And we want to study this important question, try to understand how these microbes keep our water resource clean, reusable, and how to maintain this water system. So we now have the ability to, to look at the composition of microbial communities certainly at the genus level and in some ways at the species level that we never had in the past. And we can do that without culturing organisms. So we can extract their DNA and understand the composition of the community from that molecular material. Looking at the organic chemistry, we have methods now that allow us to see the complexity of that mixture. It's one of the most complex mixtures on Earth composed of greater than 10,000 individual molecules present in very low concentrations. Behind that is required an, an enormous diversity of expertise. So we have technical staff who work in the laboratories who actually analyze the samples, who do the majority of the field work, who execute a lot of the plans that we lay out. The Stroudwater Research Center is exceptional in that we bring in one building, in one institution, multiple disciplinary perspectives to study freshwater resources. The Stroudwater Research Center works because it has a research team with a collaborative mission, studying a stream. It works better because it's next to a stream. We have any number of long-term data sets so we have continuous monitoring of discharge in White Clay Creek, 24-hour records of temperature. We have almost a 40-year record of biological life in White Clay Creek. These data sets have been used to inform policy at the national level. By discovering what makes the world's streams and rivers healthy, Stroud Water Research Center is ensuring we can all enjoy clean, fresh water.